Hi everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how sidebars work with Bloxy. Sidebars are useful in many cases. Good if you wish to present your visitors filtering options for your blog or shop pages, or just simply reminding them of something interesting going on on your website. We will split this video into four sections. Post and Pages sidebars, WooCommerce sidebars, General sidebar settings, and our premium extension, Multiple sidebars. For demonstration purposes, our sidebars have already been populated with some widgets, but you can pick and choose your own from the Appearance widgets menu inside your WordPress dashboard. Let's navigate to the Boxy Customizer to get started. Pages and Posts sidebars. To enable the sidebar for your pages, simply go to the Pages section and select the desired position for the sidebar. You've got two simple choices here, left sidebar or right sidebar. For the Posts section, the instructions are exactly the same. Simply navigate to the single post section of the customizer and choose the desired position of the sidebar. Post Archives to enable the sidebar for the archive pages of your website, navigate to the archive settings for your post type, in our case, posts, and toggle the sidebar setting to on. Once you dive deeper into the menu, you'll find the familiar left or right sidebar placement options. WooCommerce sidebars. There are two options here you can configure. The product archives page sidebar which will show on the product list page can be toggled by going to product archives and turning on the sidebar option. The single product sidebar can be toggled by going to the single product and choosing the layout you wish. Same simple choices are available here, letting you position the sidebar left or right. General sidebar customization options. Now it's time to dive into the sidebar appearance options. You'll find all the necessary options under the sidebar section inside the customizer. We'll start by addressing the design choices. We are offering four design options for you to pick. Type 1 offers you a classic layout. Type 2 offers you a boxed view of your widgets. Type 3 adds a separator. And Type 4 takes the Type 1 design and gives it a background color of your choice, kind of like the Type 2 option. Next up, you have the option to set the width that the sidebar takes on the screen. It is a pretty simple choice to understand and you get a little slider letting you adjust the width in real time. Continue on with the sidebar gap option. This option lets you specify the distance between the content and the page and the sidebar, sort of like a sidebar margin. Sticky sidebar lets you display the sidebar in the same position at all times no matter how far the user has scrolled down the page. This is useful in case you have no longer pages and you wish to show your visitors something important or let them have access to options all the time. Container inner spacing refers to the padding that the sidebar has in its container. Simple stuff here. Widgets vertical spacing refers to the spacing between each widget placed inside the sidebar. You can also change the title HTML tag here in case you wish to set it to something specific. Next up, we have the sidebar visibility options, letting you choose on which devices you might want to display the sidebar on. Computer, tablets, and mobile options are available here. We move on to the mobile sidebar position option. Due to popular demand, we have added an option to switch the position of the sidebar for the mobile view. This is useful in case you wish to move the sidebar to the top of the page, in case you have some very important information or options to present to your visitors. Now, let's check out the Design tab. Here, we are presented with the easy-to-use visual customization options that Bloxy users are accustomed to. You can change the widget's title font attributes and color, the widget's content font, and even the background color for the sidebar. Multiple sidebars. It's time to move on to showcasing our premium extension, multiple sidebars. 
Multiple sidebars are great if you wish to display a customized set of widgets for a specific page or post, or depending on the user's state or role. You'll need to first enable this extension. Navigate back to the WordPress dashboard, Bloxy, Extensions, Pro Extensions, and there it is at the bottom of the list. Simply click on the Activate button to enable the extension. To create new sidebars and customize them, you'll need to move to the Widgets section of the Appearance menu. On the right side of the screen, you'll be prompted to pick a name for the new sidebar and create it. Once the sidebar has been created, you are free to populate it with the widgets you want. And then, once you've made the changes, let's check out the sidebar settings screen. Here, you'll be shown our usual conditional dialog, letting you pick and choose the display conditions for this sidebar. As usual, you have the basic display conditions, letting you choose on which pages, posts, products the sidebar will be shown on, or the user display conditions, letting you choose the user state, if they're logged in or not, or even they roll on the website, in case your website has a membership system integrated. And if you're happy with your settings, click the Save Changes button and the new sidebar will be displayed according to the conditions you've set. Pretty simple, don't you think? We hope we've brought some clarity as to how sidebars work with Bloxy and their advanced options. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our support system. Thank you and have a great day. Take care.